I'm sorry that uh, we were the people you were playing, uh, the team you were playing today, which brought some bad news, but... Um, it's been coming. It's been coming, yeah. <laughs> Everyone thinks not all's going to score. Probably will. If you, if you want the truth. Yeah, go for it. I want truth. Four nil over. There's lots of positivity, as always. <laughs> okay, so, big game today. They're always big games, aren't It's not a big game, actually. We know we're relegated, but we've got Oldham visiting. Joe Nuttall visiting. He's starting. Any money, he's the one that scores the goal to put the R next to our name for relegated. Although, having said that, these are the other games that have got us relegated as well. It's not just this one game. You know, we've just not performed and, yeah. you know, people are going to moan because the players aren't putting the shift in. So what? They're allowed to moan. Yeah. But hopefully today they do put a shift in. They'll show a bit of fight, a bit of willing, a bit of desire. It might be too little too late, but at least they've got to do something, you know. The fans turn up week in, week out. Uh, firstly, um, just be very careful today. Don't stand next to any of the old uh, officials. Right. Uh, don't want you getting beaten up. Uh, also, I'm not feeling very optimistic today. Probably 3-1 to them, yeah. unfortunately. You can guess who I think is going to score the goals. So. Yeah. I'm Gareth. Well, I was talking to a mate of mine yesterday. Been to Leeds. Ain't a very good day. Five one. And he says to me, "You've got some fight in you, lads." Three one. He says. Fight. There's been no fight all season. Uh, yeah. We said we've well, got. We have now three one. But I'm beginning to wonder if Joe Nuttall doesn't score three, we're going home goal. You know what I mean? That's our luck. <laughs> but the aim will be okay. Cheers, Bob. collision on his head there but yeah the booze at it now for not all as you'd expect their fans not sure our fans nervous Times. Oh. first try in anger we're 10 minutes in nice way off by Bennett there for that late to run on to just the angle's too tight for him Bit of lack of confidence, maybe. He's having a good spell at the moment, just keeping the ball, passing it around. He's going to do something with it, though. I've said that before, haven't we? We're having a good spell, we don't do anything. Quite then. So, looks like Nuttall's coming off. He's had 17 minutes. It's not what he's done, just drawing or something. I don't know, he's got a pull or some sort. Um, but Samu's coming on. So, yeah, you know, I guess the, he's not going to score against us, is he? Like, a ball! That was a good strike there by Elliot. It's gone high, like, but there's a good hit. A bit lower down. Would have made the keeper work. Just needs a goal. It's got a bit of confidence. Mind you, the whole team needs a goal. Four games in a row now. We've not scored. I thought that was a great tackle by Hogan, then on Elliot, but referees wave play on. Wiseman's been flagging it. I don't think there's anything in that for me. <laughs> Referee's getting some love from the Oldham fans. Yeah, Hogan's just been booked. I genuinely thought it was a good tackle. But what do I know? If you've been watching these vlogs long enough, you'll know I know nothing. <laughs> nice play by Elliot there. It might be miles wide, but, you know, that's a nice one, nice footwork, found the space. Just getting the shots away, just need to be on target. Oh. Devin Green, bullying his man. You've got to be strong at the back though. A lot stronger than that. So, as it stands, we're now in National League North.
goalkeeper has made a good save uh, from Elliot. Sometimes it just seems easy to hit the back of the net. It really does. So when you sat watching a football match, you've just got everything else running through your head. What you could be doing, what you'd rather be doing. This is one of those football matches again. There's just nothing. Sometimes you feel excited to come to a game. This time, I feel like it's a chore. But in other news, once again, I've got ginger nuts. Need something to pass the time. Bit of excitement for us. Bit of attacking play. Hi right, guys, I'm free kick, Butterfield. Come on, Scotty, look interesting. Well done to Wall, but you know, he stopped it. Good lead by Boyce there, just put it over the bar though. Oldham fans obviously can hear them going down. We've been going down a long time, not just this one game, as I said earlier. It's hard to watch this. You know what? I've got a little podcast after this as well. Can't wait for that. They're playing football. Right, we're getting final third, though. Did we really sign Danny Elliott to be a winger? You know, I just. Back to the keeper. I just don't get it. What a place we're bringing on. Peter Clark. He's been around the block a few years. Experience. So, just noticed Peter Clark's wearing 42, and I said to Dill, is that his age? It's not, I've just checked, he's 41. I mean, fair play to him. He's still going. It's just so depressing. What, though, what do you think to this game? Be honest. Like a shite. Not, not very interesting from uh, the fun point. So Molly's gone off, Carver's gone on. All out attack. Yeah, all out attack. I don't know what attack is. I don't mind all out. That's what we've resorted to. Watching Wrexham, not County on the phone. Can't be any worse than this. Stilson, you bellend! How does he play week in, week out, honestly? There's been absolutely no fights, no passion, no desire. Honestly. Absolute gash. Who would you keep out of this lot, really? Shots from ball then. Well, like it could have been. Three additional minutes. Oh, the excitement, three more minutes of this dross. You know what, Elliot there just trying to win the ball back right to death. You know, we're not getting anything out of this game. But he's trying still. Wilson there with a shot just wide the upright. But yeah, it's just so dire today. Why do we just keep doing it? You know what I mean? I don't like police have walked all the way around the ground as well. I guess there must be. Ready to come on pitch in case there's a, an invasion, pitch invasion. 
No one cares. We're not bothered. We've been going down for ages. Again today, we're, we're going down. It's simple as that. We're naturally leaving off. That's it. Sad, but hey, come on. They, 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 they put an effort in, but not enough. And did they put an effort in at all? Did they? Well, did they just not enough. Again? Yeah, turn up. Yeah. They, they didn't play brilliant, Oldham. No. They didn't. It, it was a bit of a quiet game. Even the fans weren't even jumping. Oldham fans did because they were just taking the Mickey out of us. But we, we didn't. Hey, we keep plowing in. Up the iron, don't give in. Never give in. Cheers, Paul. Okay, I've got Joe with me after that game. Go on, Joe. Well, you know, I guess we knew we were going down anyway. Uh, it's kind of sucks that it's happened again. But, you know, I'll try to be positive. Nice day out with Scarborough next season. Just don't make it a Tuesday night match, please. Uh, you know, fish and chips, bit of ice cream, bit of football, we'll be right. And, you know, let's not be too ungrateful. We've only had to watch ourselves lose 25 times all season. So it's not oh, like wow. it's a regular thing. No, anyway, of the iron. Um, stick together, guys. See you all next Well, see you all next time, game, And then see you all next season. Uh, cheers, Joe. Yeah, Al, do you want me to go first, then? Yeah, I'd like you to go first. Yeah. I want to say we've just gone down with a whimper. The last four games we've just been well perfect. We've not fought for anything. Today you can't pick a man at match out. I mean I'm a massive Ogle fan. And yeah, he was like not bad today, but it was the only one you can say who sort of tried. They're, all, they're, they're making even Butterfield look bad the way they're playing. We've got no width. Next year, we need some width on that pitch. All the past successful sides, like the one in the background there, all had width, and we've got no width. We've, we've got to play with somebody out wide, definitely. They put two, you know, we had two big men up front for the last 20 minutes, and no crosses come in because there were no width, that's all. And it's really, really disappointing to see. But anyway, we regroup and we come back next year. But to all the people who think we'll walk the league next year, you've got a big awakening coming because of well. OK, well, oh, that, just before he starts, uh, it's so nice to see my old mate back. That's yeah, all. We, we take his back to his bed. Yeah, all right, mate. All right, Gareth. Yeah, I, I, I just like to mirror what Mark said, really. Yeah, we've gone down with a whimper. Mark said that we... He fully believed and he said that the fat lady wouldn't sing, but she has done. Hey ho, mate, I'll still be there next year as many of these people around as will we. When we go away, everybody will say, Scud is in town because the big boys are here. Like Mark says, though, we won't have a pushover. We'll have to fight and scrap for everything we've got. Today's game, whimper, but hey ho. Do you know something, Gareth? I'm not really upset. I expected it. Yeah. And I love Scunthorpe United now, I love Scunthorpe till we die. Yeah, but you expected a little bit of passion over the last yes, four games. Yes, yeah, you're right, man. Not yeah. like what we've just seen. No, there, we've just gone, we've just gone down without a fight, games, didn't we? Yeah. It's just been absolutely nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, have yeah. you paid some money to that bloke outside? Who's that? There's a bloke sat outside with no trainers on, holes in his jeans, battered cap, and he's got an old guitar. And he started singing. What did he sing? He was singing. When I was young, thought that life was just Who logical. That? So I said to him, I said, hey, that's super tramp. And he went, thank you very much, Baldy. <laughs> we'll be back next year. <laughs> we'll be back for next year's edition. We're better jokes. <laughs> Come on, Jack. What do we think? What's coming, to be honest, mate? Um, deserved it, really. What, to go down? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll be here next year, won't we, mate? Yeah, we'll be here next year. Sporting the iron. Super we'll iron. Next year. Up, so, the iron. up the iron. So, um, back home after the game, did a podcast straight after it as well. <sighs> um, yeah, it's just, you know, we've been going down for a long time this season. This This game hasn't, you know, defined us as such. It's been the previous games, once again today, um, no passion, no fight, no desire, apart from Carver at the end there with Clark. Um, but yeah, you know, joking aside, it's just not been good enough, has it, all season. Um, 
you know, deflated. I left games deflated before. This one, yeah, I was deflated. But because I knew it was coming, it's just hit differently. As I'm sure it has with lots of other fans as well. Um, just not good enough. You know, players on the pitch. A lot of them won't be here next season, I hope. There's some I'd like to keep. Um, but yeah, it's, it needs a big shift in mentality. Because I feel that, you know, when the players walk out onto the pitch, that already they're defeated. So we need to shift that mindset. We need to be positive. Um, these next three games, you know, what have we got to lose, ultimately? Yeah, it'd be nice to score, pick up a bit of momentum. But let's just get the players in, that our players that are going to be playing next season. Whether, if they're on loan and we need to put them in, you know, we've not got a player to stick in there of our own, then fair enough playing. But if, if we've got the players... Let's use them. Let's utilise them. Let's, you know, try and work a system that's going to work and not one that seems just cobbled together beforehand, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> what, what can you say? It's been coming. We've known it's been coming. Is it Hilton's fault? I'm going to say no. Is it Dean's fault? I'm still going to say no, but possibly could be. You know, some of the formations some of the players played um ultimately it's swan's fault that's where it lies at and uh tell me i'm wrong you know it is what it is we are really getting again national league north um there will be new places to see new towns to visit new experiences so as bad as it seems right now and it is bad and it's going to seem bad next week as well and the week after and the week after and you get all the fans giving you a jip because you've gone down. We'd be the same, wouldn't we? We'd give it. So, just got to take it on the chin, move on, and hope that next season we we'll actually uh, string some wins together, score some goals, and enjoy it. So, I'll catch you all um, at Aldershot. I'll be there for my sins.